Diana Rossini joins us every week. She is very stressed right now. She's always stressed. She has that kind of job. She's the senior NFL insider for The Athletic. Uh, her podcast with Chase Daniels called Scoop City. It's a massive hit. She is joining us from the owners' meetings right now. Uh, you appear to be very stressed out. What is going on there? I joined the show on Tuesdays because I love talking football with you guys, and you know I love you. But every time I'm on this show, stuff is happening. Devontae <laughs> Adams is a New York Jet. He's yes. been traded from the Las Vegas Raiders. He is headed to New York. In fact, I, I, I think he's in New York at this moment. Uh, I'm trying to confirm that right now. But, yeah, all of this happened, and we, we knew this was leading – up to this point, it, you know, all signs are pointing to the Jets here for weeks. And I was told that Woody wanted to make sure they did not mess this deal up. So they're able to get Aaron Rodgers is really good friend. Uh, another weapon, obviously someone that he trusts outside of Alan Lazard, uh, who can now join this Jets team. So after, you know, a really difficult loss on, on Monday Night Football, some good news for Jets fans today. Yes, uh, and if you have to go here to do your job, uh, just let us know and we'll let you go here. Uh, do you have any idea what the Jets gave back to get Devontae Adams? Yeah, um, so the Raiders are going to receive a third-round pick that can become a second round based on his performance. So, uh, you know, this is... This is like the Stefan Diggs trade. It's kind of like how we've been discussing it on the show about what, what a trade would look like. Um, it's not as good, but it's close. Um, you know, the Bills were were lurking around a little bit there. Uh, they were they were trying to land Adams. That obviously is not something that worked out for them. Hmm. Uh, currently trying to work on the compensation, because if you guys remember, we talked about this on the show. Mark Davis did not want to take on this salary. Um, so... In this moment right now, I'm just trying to confirm to see how much the Jets are going to be taking on, um, if if all of it, and if, if the Raiders are helping them out a little bit. So um, we'll, we'll stay tuned here as this stuff is all just developing once again on the show. <laughs> this segment is presented by LinkedIn Jobs. Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash prep. Terms and conditions apply. Diana, what is the, the weight of this uh, Devontae Adams signing for the Jets? Does it transform Aaron Rodgers into the quarterback they thought? Does it make the Jets a playoff team? What do you see the impact as? Okay, the Raiders are not paying any of Devontae Adams' salary, mm. uh, according to a, a source close to the situation right now. So, look, I, I think the Jets are all in on this. They, they they are giving Aaron Rodgers and this offense and this team every single possible thing that they can do to try to maximize Aaron Rodgers while his time is here as he's getting older. We don't know how much longer he's going to be a New York Jet. Um, so I look at this as, you know, guys, a, a, a week ago, I was on the show with you talking about the firing of Robert Sala. And now a week later, they're meeting with Hassan Reddick's new representation. Drew Rosenhaus is, has been uh, granted um, an opportunity to seek a trade right now for Hassan Reddick. Uh, the Jets told him, you know, you got a short window here to try to see if you can get a trade partner. Otherwise, let's try to see if we can work this out in New York. So Potentially, if they can fix this with Hassan Reddick and Drew Rosenhaus can work his magic, they could get Reddick in the building as well, um, along with Devontae Adams. So, look, I I think it's just obvious Woody knows that this is this is the window. This is the window. You know, we we laugh about Jerry Jones saying all in. I don't know. This this, this is all in to me. Dan, I was just going to ask you about Hassan Reddick. Now that they have Devontae Adams coming to New York, does this motivate them to kind of make something happen? Because this morning you reported that they gave him – permission to kind of seek a trade but now wouldn't you want to get them in uh you you do you want to get them in but again you're dealing with a situation where um it they started off in, in a really bad spot because they they lost trust in one another um Hassan Reddick thought that the Jets were going to be able to give him a deal that they agreed upon. The Jets said, no, that, that's not what we said. We said that we'd see how you would perform. There was some sort of miscommunication. And everyone close to Hassan was telling me that he is going to die on this hill, that he is not going back. So now with the change of, of voice um, here in terms of his representation, and guys, you, you, you don't hire Drew Rosenhaus if you don't want to play football, right? You hire Drew because he gets it done. Um, so Drew right now is trying to figure out what the market is for Hassan outside of the Jets if they aren't able to work it out as a backup plan. But also the Jets know that there's a chance that they could lose Hassan. And, and look, you have to look at it from, from Joe Douglas's standpoint, too, on this. What kind of shape is Hassan in right now? 
right? This this is a player they need right now. How long is it going to take for him to get in play, in play shape and accustomed to the Jets' way of doing things? There's, just, there's a lot of factors there. Um, Devontae Adams is in the building uh, in New York um, as it's coming in. Is this ridiculous to you guys right now? Like, just no, watching I, this. I, I, I know. He's telling us that he's in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Do the Jets yeah. know the season right. already started? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, two, and <laughs> she can confirm yeah, earlier reports. Right. Yeah, so yeah, they I, know it started. So. I'll filibuster a little bit while while <laughs> you like we're going all catch in. up on on stuff. Yeah, Mike, let me just catch up on these two texts and tweets, and and, and I'm, I'm gonna be right with you. Yeah, I'm totally understood. As those that are just joining us are, are learning, uh, Devonte Adams <laughs> has been traded to the New York Jets. Now there were a couple of teams that were kicking the tires on acquiring. Uh, Devonte Adams. She said Buffalo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I heard Buffalo as well through my sources. So Diana, what is Buffalo going to do now? Uh, and what is the entire wide receiver market going to do uh, now that Devonte Adams is off the board? You have these teams that were aggressively pursuing the Saints, and and Buffalo were in on this Devonte Adams sweepstakes. I'm wondering if they they pivot and go elsewhere. Yeah, look, we got the trade deadline coming up in just a few weeks. Um, I was just, God, I, I, sometimes I just wish there was a camera on my phone so you guys could see the mistakes before I catch them. Right. Like I just, I just was about to tweet, Devonde Adams is in the Jets building. Pet my sources. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, the senior <laughs> NFL insider at the athletic yeah. owned by the New York times. Yes, and I almost right. just tweeted that. Yeah. So, um, I, this is why I love this show. Cause you guys accept me for everything I am. Uh-huh. Um, even busy, okay. yes. Go ahead. Other wide receivers possibly on the move. Yeah, Buffalo receiver, Bill, something. Right? No, it's a great, it's a great question because they, they need help, right? We saw we saw Josh struggling yesterday. Uh, excuse me, last night it just looked like, look, this season is on Josh Allen's shoulders. It, it's if he does not win this for him, if he does not run the ball, if he does not use his body and his ability to create plays, the the Buffalo Bills are in trouble. Um, their defense obviously had had some really great moments last night themselves, but. This team is going to need more if they want to go deep. They cannot just rely on Josh. So with the trade line coming up, trade deadline coming up on November 5th, we're a few weeks out. Look, there's receivers. DeAndre Hopkins in Nashville would make sense to me. Um, Amari Cooper is he's got a great contract situation for Buffalo, who doesn't have a lot of money. Um, and now look, these aren't names of players that I think Buffalo, you know, stands up clapping like, yes, we gotta get this guy in the building. But it's something. It's 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 players that have that are veterans that have, have played at a high level at some point here, um, and perhaps could use a change of scenery themselves. Uh, so so we'll see. And then as you know, the the great thing about the trade deadline is teams that have told me they're not going to be busy in terms of dealing are saying that on October fifteenth. But so much changes between now and then. Uh, do you think Adams will be active for the Jets' next game on Sunday Night Football? Yeah, yeah, I do. I um look, he's dealing God with God damn it. Uh, they're playing the Steelers, Diana. <laughs> can you stop that from happening? I have no juice in that Jets building, I can tell you that much. Um if anything, they would probably escort me out like they did with Sala if they could. Mm-hmm. Um but no, look, I, I I think they're they're gonna try to get he's in the building for a reason, right? So he's gonna get a physical and and probably hop right into meetings um the second the, the players or in the building. In fact, someone texted me that he's already meeting with the coaching staff. So this is really good news for the Jets that 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 are trying to squeeze this and and bad news for the Steelers that look, they they have figured out how to get this offense going with Justin Fields and talking to people there and and, and even just Steeler players. They're really supportive of Justin Fields. They're they're all in. I know there were a lot of um conversations being had last week about Russell Wilson and and it is an interesting factor, and it's great that he's there, and he's a captain. Um, but it just appears to me, just through these conversations, that Justin's the guy, and and they want to build this around him. Um, do I think uh, Russell could get on the field at some point? Maybe. But I don't think the Justin Fields seat is as hot as uh, some people believe it to be in Pittsburgh. Diana, uh, I'm, I'm, I didn't – wasn't sure you were coming to me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, Tom Brady seems like he's finally going to get approved as a minority owner of the Raiders. Will that or should that preclude him from remaining in a TV booth? 
So it is going to get approved today. And I think that it is not going to prevent him from, yeah, from being a broadcaster, from, from what I can understand, from having conversations with people here about what this looks like for Tom Brady's future. Um, and this was discussions that were had even before we got to this point. Now, it's expected to get voted on today and approved, but if it doesn't, they'll probably vote again in December. This is one of the the uh, weirder league meetings of all the ones that they have. Guys are just coming in for the day. Like, I'm I'm actually, I am, you guys can see I'm sitting in this little booth in the lobby. Mm -hmm. And behind my camera that you guys can't see is where the owners are just walking through right now. So this is this is my time to go get them oh. because they're going to go into meetings. Yes. Um, so get out of here. What are you doing? Like, go, uh, do your job. Seriously. <laughs> We're sorry. Okay. I, th there's just a, a, a reoccurring theme here. I feel okay. like. We're, yes. <laughs> yes. We're getting in the way of you doing your job. I yes. love you guys. And I, I don't want to bail on you because I love that you have me on Tuesday. So um, this is just my window. And, and Jerry went crazy on the radio today. Go. Um, and I, I haven't heard him have a meltdown like that. I, I think ever since I've covered him. So. Um, I kind of want to get to the bottom of what, what what what's poking at him. I think we know, but I, I'm looking forward to kind of hearing what he has to say. So um, I'm going to shoot you guys a text after I go run in the lobby here, and maybe I can hop back on if you don't have any big guests that uh, you got to get on the show. We are good. You are always welcome here. She's the senior NFL insider for The Athletic, and her podcast with Chase Daniels is called Scoop City with episodes every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you. Go do the job that you're Go tell the Roonies we yes. need a receiver too, Diana. <laughs> I'm, just just I'm, on I'm on a mission, Thank you, Diana.